Well, from Connecticut to North Carolina, a company has arrived. Billions of bugs. Loud, lively, and a little gross. They're also very punctual. This is a brood of cicadas that emerges precisely every 17 years. And for just one bit of business, an insect's version of speed dating. Paul Hunter now on what some call Swarmageddon. <laughs> Some call it the sound of summer, a cacophony of screeching and buzzing from the treetops. The sound of these things, horrifying beady-eyed bugs the size of your thumb, cicadas. So what are we hearing? You're hearing the mating calls of the male cicadas. It ebbs and flows. It's typically loudest in the daytime when the sun comes out. And they are calling to the females. Kevin Ambrose, cicada enthusiast and blogger, took a walk with us in the woods of Virginia, and we gave a listen to the love songs of the cicada. That's right, love songs. Is this a female? This is a. That's a female. Our male that was making the noise flew away. Oh, it's so gross. These are special cicadas seen in these parts. Get this, only once every 17 years. All that time they live underground and then after 17 years they emerge and the cycle begins again. They have sex and start all over again. Start all over. They so you might guess for cicadas it's a pretty intense time. And this is what it's all about. This is what they wait 17 years to do. One of these is a male, one of these is a female and they're going at it. Truly you don't really want to watch. It's kind of yucky. But Americans have fallen for the flirty little things, so they can forget about privacy. On our walk, we bumped into these two with their binoculars, cameras, and a clear-cut case of cicada mania. They're just really, what's the word? They're endearing, they're cute. Maybe it's the romance, or maybe the novelty. This particular brood, which has been coming out just the past few weeks, is unique to the U.S. Northeast and now numbers in the billions. Whatever the reason, it's taken America by storm. Online, there's this how to listen video for what some call Swarmageddon. You can buy cicada t-shirts, coffee mugs, and comic books, and this glorious time-lapse movie documenting the bug's brief time above ground has become a must-watch for cicada files. We caught up with filmmaker Samuel Orr on his way to New Jersey to film, yes, more cicadas. They're just very fascinating little animals. I, I'm trying to make this program for, uh, for everybody who might possibly be interested in cicadas or, or, or could be convinced to like them by, uh, by, by seeing them as less than a, uh, a, 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 scary, uh, a scary sideshow. It's a cliche, there's beauty wherever you look. And another thing, they're edible. With these cicadas, you can eat them wings and all. We asked Rhode Island entomophagist, i.e. bug eater, David Gracer to cook us a batch. He served them up on noodles. Mm. So good, he went for seconds. Gross out factor aside, he says, they're full of protein, and the world could do worse than consider what he does with cicadas. Well, if only you were here, I'd share it with you. Kevin Ambrose tried them once. Well, the edible part is the female, and it's where all the eggs are. It's that, it's it, that juicy bit at the back. Right? It is the, uh, the back side, this plump. If that's what you want to call it, back abdomen is full of eggs. Still, weird as they look, you got to hand it to these cicadas. Who else lives for 17 years in the dirt, waiting for one quick chance at true love, and then that's it. But what a few weeks it must be. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Manassas, Virginia.